Welcome to my channel. This is Jahida Lovely Loves. I would like to say thank you for your love and support with my music on iTunes, which is charting right now. According to chartill.com, which is a charting system for um, iTunes and um, iTunes Apple Music, according to their site, I am number 45 all the way to 55 on alternative new music on November 9th, 2021 at 10, 12 a.m. I would like to document all my progress of my journey with this new career. Um, also, I would like for you guys to subscribe, like, and share, and comment, and share your comments on my music and everything. If you guys love my album covers, then you will love my merch. My merch, you can find it at iactopus.biz. Um, I will put all the description below in the, in the description link. But basically, on chartill.com, on new album, alternative new music, 50, 45 is Craving, 46 is Exicle, 47 is Demon High, 48 is Boba, 49 is Switches, 50 is Easy On Me, 51 is Screamed, 52 is Squid Game, and 53 is certified. 54 is Hot Jupiter. And 55 is Grelin. All by Jahida Lovey Love. And I would like to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much with the love and support. Again, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and share. But today we're going to talk about Mer I mean, NASA. As you may know, most of my music have the planet of the exoplanet that they have discovered. Um, they inspire me to do music because I imagine like, wow, okay, they found this planet. So imagine what is the vibration. So when I create music, I'm like, okay, this is Kepler, blah, 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 Kepler, blah, 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 or, um, um, the other satellite that, uh, that they're discovering exoplanets and stuff. But this is how I basically make my music and whatever inspired me to, to create. So basically we, um, I am in exoplanet.nasa.gov and we're going to talk about more planets. Um, if you guys don't like my content, that's fine. 77,000 views. Thank you so much. Do like my content and my music. And I greatly appreciate the love and support. And I will continue to do this because you guys wanted it. Again, thank you for the 77,000 views on YouTube. 127,000 views on TikTok. Don't forget to subscribe. I know it's a busy day. But subscribe, 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 and follow and share so that I can continue doing my content that keeps spreading the love and support. So right now, we're in NASA.gov in the exoplanet area. And basically, they, um, right now, November 9th, 2021, 20, they have confirmed 4,566 exoplanets, okay? And these exoplanets are based like like Neptune type of, of um exoplanet, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Pluto, Mars, Mercury, even Earth type planets. And it's basically, that's how we're finding all this information. We have found amazing, well, not me. They have found amazing, amazing, amazing planet. Like, for example, like one of my songs is called 55 Cancri E. And it's basically a planet that is made purely of gold. I mean, of diamonds. So it's basically pure, a planet made of diamond, period. It, which is worth like 26 nanny, nanillion dollars. And that's not even close to Google. It's not even close to the name, um, yeah, a trillion. No, it's mad money. But anyway, they have they have another 7,913 NASA candidates, meaning they're still being under they're they're stuck they're being understudied right now. And of course, it takes about four years for each exoplanet to be studied. So they have a whole community of scientists to help them get all these data and information throughout the United States and throughout the whole world. And now they have found 3,000 of 3,385 planetary system. Planetary system is like our system, like it has a, a sun or two sun or three. They even found a system with three suns, which is very rare. Well, so far it's not really rare. It's just that we don't have enough data. But basically, most of these um um 
planetary system is based on two suns, which is odd because where where is our second sun? That's the question. Where is our second sun? We should have our second sun because it is obvious that most of these galaxy, a planetary system has two or more suns. So we are, I'm confused about that. Like I, we should get, you know, on top of that. But anywho, let's see some planets. Let's discover and explore. So I'm going to click, um, let's see, what, what are we going to talk about today? Okay, so basically this is the type of planet they're searching for. The gas giant, which is kind of like Jupiter, Uranus, those type of planets. Neptune, like planets, super Earth. And terrestrial terrestrial is more like uh, like Mars Mercury type of planet and then of course the super earth which is our earth okay so what are we gonna talk about let's go oops all right we're gonna go to the confirm let's just go here okay so a new discovery of 2021 they have discovered another planet called hd 96700c and it's a super earth and it was the detection method was on a radial velocity which is basically i tell you right now hold on so basically hd 96700 is a super earth exoplanet that orbits a g star type star its mass is 3.5 Earth. It takes 19.9 days to complete one orbit of a star. And it, and it has an astronomical unit of 0 0.141 of its star, meaning the distance from the sun. Um, to get there is 83 light years away from Earth. To get there. The radial velocity... velocity is basically is when the sun wobbles when a planet is going around it and they'll see the little tilt of the sun and that's when they know there's something there that is like it's so massive that it it makes the sun tilt so that's how they do the the rate the radial velocity now let's see um how many years if you're going to speed of light it's 83 80 80 83 light years away okay but if you go in a, in a car at 60 miles per hour right it will take you 927 million years that's a lot of years your kids will make it your grandkids will make it like no they're not gonna yeah it's probably gonna take you like a million year a, a generation of family to basically see anything okay so let's go by years because right now i'm in the exoplanet exploration of planets beyond our solar system and we're going by the year of 2021 right so there is a planet called toi 251 b this is a Neptune-like exoplanet that orbits a G star. Its mass is one Jupiter. It takes 4.9 days to complete one orbit of its star. And it has an astronomical unit of 0 0.05741. And the discovery was announced this year of 2021. It takes about, um, hold on, let me see. I would like to know how big it is. So if you go to this website, it gives you like a visual um, image of like the comparison of our, our, our Jupiter, our sun, and sometimes they even put it with the Earth. So basically this planet, it's one time bigger of its mass. It's huge compared to Jupiter, but compared to our sun, it's just almost the same size of our sun. How long it will take you to travel there? That's a good question. Um, if you're going a mile of 60 miles per hour in a car, 
hypothetically from Earth to this planet T O I two fifty one B, it'll take you four billion years. If you go in a bullet train, which is 120 miles per hour, it will take you about 2 billion years. If you go on a jet, which is 600 miles per hour, it will take you 363 million years. If you go at a speed of light, it will basically take you 325 years. That's too much. That's too much years. That's a lot. Um, let's go to another planet. I don't think I spoke about this one. This one is called NGTS 13B. And basically, they estimated this planet might be like an orangey tinchy color. Because that's like the theory they go based on the heat or the wavelength of the color of what they receive and the and the and determination of the sun's um color. But basically, this NGTS 13b is a gas giant exoplanet that orbits a G type star. Its mass is 400.84 Jupiters. It takes about 4.1 4 days to complete one orbit of its, of its star. And it has an astronomical unit of 0 0.0549. Its discovery was announced in 2021. It's huge. It's huge. But let, let, let's go in the bottom to see how it looks compared to Jupiter. So basically, this exoplanet is almost the size. No, it's a little bit bigger than Jupiter. But it's like a middle size of our sun. Basically, it's not the same of our sun. It's a middle. It's like a medium size. So compared to the sun, its radius is 1.79 compared to our sun. And compared to Jupiter, the radius is 1.142 times Jupiter, but the mass is four times. So basically, it can be gassy though. It has to be more than that because it's, it's massive and heavy. Okay, Accord, they, um, they, if you travel in a car, hypothetically, to this exoplanet NGTS 13b. It'll take you 24 billion years at the speed of 60 miles per hour. If you go on a Voyager, which is 38,000 miles per hour, which is stupid fast, is not close to the speed of light because the speed of light is only 6 171 million miles per hour or the speed of light but to get to this planet the NGTS 13b it'll take you 2,000 years amazing amazing discovery the the way they found this planet they use a transit and it's basically it means if a planet passes directly between a star and the observer's line of sight it blocks out a tiny portion of its star's light thus reducing its appearing in brightness and this is a fraction of maybe like seconds or even an hour or depending like how quick they pick that up but luckily we use computer so it records everything and it's very sensitive to the dip and this is how they find it um okay let's go to another planet oh interesting this one Again, this is all 2021 um, planets. So basically, hold on, I have to write this down because I have to put it on the on the video, right? So basically, this planet is called HD 110113b, and it's a Neptune-like ice giant planet. So basically, Neptune is like a big ball of ice. Okay, it's not like the Europa moon, which is it, it has a ice cover, but it's, it has fluids. So, yeah, that's the first spot where NASA is going to discover more in our solar system to see if we have life in our solar system. But basically, let's go back here. They have a concept of from an artist that they painted the Neptune like planet, like a bluish color. So basically, this 
this this planet HD one one zero one one three B is a Neptune like exoplanet that orbit a G star. Its mass is four point fifty five Earth. It takes two point five days to complete one orbit of its star, and it has an astronomical unit of zero point zero thirty five. And its star, its discovery was announced in twenty twenty one. So basically, we're going to see the comparison to compare to Earth. HD 110113b is an exoplanet that is 4.55 larger than Earth. So basically, it's almost the size of our sun. Almost. Because it's not 99% the same size of our sun, but it's the size almost of our sun. Compared to the visuals here. That's my dog um, snoring in the background. How long how long to tra how long to travel here from Earth? If you go in a mile of 60 miles per hour, it'll take you four billion years. If you go in a speed of light, 347 years. 347 years it'll take you. Um yeah, my neighbor, I'm lawn mowing my, uh, my lawn. So, sorry if you guys hear that, but, um, I'm trying to do all this editing and it's like, ugh, so much. Hold on. Let me just write this down. N-G-T-S-13-B. Yeah, you guys are going to get the blooper of these videos when I speak on it. And then I did HD... One one zero one one three C, so that I don't make a mistake and repeat it because I think I repeated some other things. All right, so another plan that we could talk about is an, another type of uh, HD. So basically, this plan is called HD. Hold on, it's HD. Oh, sorry. Oh my God, I, Jesus. Okay. <clears throat> so HD 4760b is an ex is the exoplanet gas giant that orbits a K-type star. Its mass is 13.9 Jupiter. It takes about 434 days to orbit one orbit of its star. And it has a astronomical unit of 1.14 of its star. The discovery was announced on 2021. Now let's go on the visual because I'm a visual person and you know I need to see it to see how big it is. So basically compared to Jupiter is 13 times the mass but the, the radius which is like the circle compared to the planet is basically 1.1 so it's almost the size it's a it's is one it's a little bit more bigger than Jupiter but compared to our Sun compared to our Sun Jesus whoo okay basically in NASA.gov they have the Sun which is like the lighter color and it's a dot, basically. Um, it has a radius of 42.4. And it's huge. 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 So basically, this system, the sun must be like massive. Massive compared to our sun. But basically, compared to this planet and our sun, it's a little dot. A tiny, tiny dot. Incredible. But let's see how many years it takes us to get there. Well, in a car, of course, 60 miles per hour, 20 billion years. Hey, that's my, my buddy. Hi. And she forgot to subscribe too. <laughs> and then she's going to bow down. <laughs> that was cute though. Um, but basically, she's here to learn as well. Um, but yeah, um, the speed of life for HD 476 60 B is about 2,000 years to get there. Um, let's see another comparison, another wowzer. Okay, this one is interesting. Why? Because it's a different satellite. So meaning it probably was launched recently. 
or not, or maybe like a few years ago. I don't know. But uh, I'll get more information. So basically, this is an exoplanet and it's compared to a gas giant. And it has a lot of numbers. A lot of numbers. Whoever's putting this data, they need to, to make up names because I guess putting numbers is easier to learn. I mean, to put data in the computer system. But basically, this planet is called TYC 0434-04538-1B. It's a gas giant. Hold on. All this click that you guys hear is I'm, not, I'm actually in the computer while I talk to you guys. Um, <clears throat> oops, hold on. Um, basically, it's the mass, uh, okay, TYC 0434-04538-1B is the gas giant exoplanet that orbits a K-star. Its mass is 6.1 Jupiters. It takes 193.2 days to complete one orbit of its star. And its mass is 0.66 astronomical unit from its star. Its discovery was announced on 2021. Now, let's look at the visual. So, I'm going to scroll down. So compared to Jupiter, remember Jupiter is the lighter, um, the lighter color compared of the other Jupiter. So you have to be aware that which one is which. And also you would know this because the Jupiter word is colored the same as the planet. So you see the comparison of differences. Um, basically, the, compared to our Jupiter is 6.1 Jupiters. But it has a radius, meaning the, the, the compared to the circle of its size, not the mass, the circle, it's 1.14. So it's not really that much of a difference. It's like a little bit, uh, a little like a little dab, like maybe like an inch if you want to downsize it. But compared to the to our sun, whoa! So basically, it's a medium-sized dot compared to our sun, and it's a massive, massive, massive exoplanet this gas giant has a, a mass of 1.04 compared to our sun and the sun is pretty heavy and the radius of the sun which is the size is huge it's 9.99 and that's how accurate they are because the, the the satellite that they have is like a visual computer system that absorb that like records everything visual heat uh, um, sounds, anything, including smell. And it will tell you exactly what kind of, like, smell there is in the area. Um, let's see how many years it takes us to get here. Um, if we go in a speed of light of 60 miles per hour, uh, it'll take us 22 billion years. But if we go on a speed of light, it will be... And remember, speed of light is 671 million um, per, um, per hour. So basically when you blink or less than that. And yes, they have discovered a new type of time, which is less than, than a fraction of a second of a second of a second of a second. I think to the one million of a second, something like that. But if you're going to douse, if you go to speed of light to this planet, it will take you 2,000 years to get there. Okay. Uh, basically, the radio, they, they detect this method with the radio velocity. Again, this is when they see the, the dip of the image where they're recording the star. And that's where they found a planet. Let's see another one. Yeah, I'm going to do videos like this. It's more easier for me to do because I have to do the merch. I got to do the music. I got to keep dropping them because you guys are like basically viral, making my music viral on iTunes. But I really appreciate that. Okay, another one. Oh, did I wrote it down? No, I did not. Okay, this one is HD13808B. And this is a Neptune-like exoplanet that orbit a K-star. Its mass is 11.2 Earth. It takes... 14.2 days to complete one orbit of its star and it's 
a 0 0.10519 astronomical unit from its star. Its discovery was in 2021. So basically, the artist that created this planet, it made it like a little like a purplish, like Neptune. Neptune is really blue for us, but here he made it, whoever, she or he, made it the color like a, a purplish color, which I greatly appreciate the colors. Now, let's tap on the plus sign. And let's get more information. So basically, compared to Earth, it has a mass of 11.2 Earth, but the radius is only 0 0.299 compared to Jupiter. So basically, Jupiter, it will be like a medium-sized dot, but this planet is massive compared to Jupiter. But compared to our sun, it's only like a, maybe like a large... A larger sun, um, basically, it has a radius of 0 0.75. So, it's not really that big, big, big. But compared to Jupiter, it's huge. It's like the size, almost the size of the sun compared to Jupiter. But compared to the sun, it's a, maybe, like a, maybe like a foot more of, of, of the size of this Earth. Which is pretty cool. They discovered this planet with... Ooh, with the radial velocity. Alright, let's go to another planet. Okay, this one oh, is huge. I'm going to go back to the other one. But this one, wow. So this one is called the NGTS 14AB. Okay. Okay. And basically, this is the Neptune-like exoplanet that orbits a K star. Uh, this one, oh my god, okay. NGTS 14AB is a Neptune-like exoplanet that orbit a K star. Its mass is 29, again I repeat, 29.24036 Earth. It takes about 3.5 days to complete one orbit of its star, and it has an astronomical unit of 0 0.0403 from its star. Its discovery was announced in 2021. So basically, this planet is huge. Because, <laughs> Jesus. Okay, compared to Jupiter, right? Jupiter, like I said, is the lighter color of the planet compared to the other planet. Um, basically, it's huge. It's maybe, like I said, the radius is 0 0.44, but compared to Jupiter, it's huge. To our sun, it's almost the size. A little bit smaller than our sun. A little bit smaller. But compared to our Jupiter, it's massive. Massive. It's almost the same size as you can see compared to the sun. But if you compare it to the sun, it's a little bit smaller. Like maybe an inch. If you see it in the in the visual. Oh. So I was cut off. I apologize. But basically, NGTS 14AB is a super, super, super depth tool like exoplanet that they have discovered. But I would like to say thank you so much for this beautiful love and support that you guys have given me again this is Shahida love be love and i will be coming back at you guys with more exoplanet um youtube videos um my avatar from reality um app is this character right here i'll be changing her clothing every time i do a video as much as i can but basically don't forget to subscribe like and check out my music and follow and share and comment whatever question you guys have always comment below and i will try my best to get in touch with you guys thank you so much i love you guys